Hello, this is Jamie Lewis and today I'm going to teach you some video marketing skills. Are you ready? All right, so let's begin the lesson right now. First on the list, a seven minute iPhone video can make $300,000. Do I have evidence of this? Yes, I do actually. The example was a video that I had recorded with my iPhone in a club on the dance floor with very, very loud music in the speakers. My face was covering the entire screen and I said, hey guys, listen, I want to tell you about this awesome opportunity. Did it in attention, interest, desire, action. Just stuck with the recipe to this day is being used as an upsell, $300,000. There were no fancy mics or anything like that. Don't be afraid to just bust it out it converts great because of that reason. At one point in the video, I actually said, look, you know I'm not using a teleprompter right now like all the other gurus because I'm in the middle of a dance floor right now. It proves that you're not fake and you're doing it on the spot and you know what you're talking about. Think about what you're gonna say beforehand. It's proving that you know what you're talking about and that you're an expert. On the spot, quick iPhone videos are fine. Don't think that you have to buy a whole crap load of equipment. The next thing I wanted to talk about was our example on YouTube a few years back. You might have heard about it. Everyone was talking about it. All the marketing eBooks had used it as examples when we talked about YouTube. A music video can make $100,000. And also, I believe it did about 100,000 in leads. We had a squeeze page and it built a list of 100,000 as well as making around 100,000, if I remember correctly. But you'll know the video I'm talking about. It was a video of a kid playing guitar and it had 50 million views. The funny story was I'd sold a music lesson website that I had created to somebody that I knew. Now that somebody started to run the website and all of a sudden this guy who owned that YouTube video or actually partnered with someone who owned it was sending a lot of traffic to the website. Conversions were off the charts. It was doing like $1,500 in gross sales and then at the end of the day, six, 700 after the 70 percent being given to the affiliate, etc. My boy owns the website and the ClickBank account and everything. He's like, what the heck is this? He found out who it was, contacted the person, said, could I purchase your YouTube video from you? And thinking that the guy would say, all right, maybe 20, 30 grand or something, but it would still have been worth it. The guy said, yeah, sure, I'll do it for a thousand bucks. My friend was like, what the hell? This guy's trying to rip me off, but all right, fine, I'll send you a thousand bucks. The guy sent him the username and password. What the hell? So my friend changed the username and password, put his link on there. And then the partner of that guy got real pissed, but guess what? The partner hadn't been telling him that it was making all of this money. You can fuse niches together. What that means is like, for instance, with Singing Guru. It's internet marketing, but presented with music, cooking with marketing. Fusing different niches is cool. That's a way to bring in other audiences into your end result. Next up, you do not need to spend money. And what I mean by that is you don't need to spend a lot of money and you don't need to spend $20,000 on a recording studio and stuff. For instance, with my system, everything that I do, it's ancient. That's something that a lot of people don't know is it's give me shit about it, whatever I deserve it because I actually one of these days should upgrade everything and I'm looking forward to it because I know everything that the new stuff has to offer. But a lot of the time, you know, especially when you go and buy this stuff and the people who work in Best Buy or whatever, you know, I got a camera, you know, I, oh yeah, that's the one I got, man. Or they're always musicians, right? And it's like nothing online or anything. It's hilarious. Someone who does have something online, probably they're real good with it because they're used to it. They've had it a long time. They haven't kept upgrading stuff and had to relearn it. Like if you have to relearn stuff, if you're spending a lot of money, I mean, you don't need to spend that much money. You can do it for a couple hundred bucks. It'll be good. Next up, audio is your director. What I mean by that is when you edit, a lot of the time when I edit, I do it by the audio. I always think audio first, uh, video second. I mean, not music video. Of course, we know with music videos, you drop the song and then you have all your clips that you had it on a boom box on location or something and you're doing your thing. When you drop that onto the timeline on top of your music, you lock the music so when you drop down the clips, it's not gonna affect your music. That's all that is. Music videos are so easy. But what I was really talking about here was, say for instance, you have a documentary or something. You're filming action or something, okay? People talking and stuff. You edit and you cut it based on the audio. Well, put it this way. Sometimes you only have one shot. If there's a weird audio there or something, you might want to take that audio out. But a lot of the time, you know, when you've got those lines, you're gonna shoot it and then cut it right after that audio so you grab that line. Let the audio be the director, cut around the audio, pick little clips and say, it's gonna be hilarious, you're gonna love that. Do it very, very fast. People are dying out there, right? People got problems, people put their 
jobs and their businesses on hold for artistic projects. So when you get one of these total right-brained morons who are doing a movie or something, it takes them three years to do it. It's a huge risk, you know, the movie doesn't get anywhere. Three years have gone by, oh great, it was a great project, but guess what? Someone lost their job or someone forfeited their entire business or job or multiple jobs. You took forever. And someone is, is a perfectionist, oh I'm a perfectionist or something. Let's be honest, it's not that they're a perfectionist, it's that they're an unprofessional. They didn't know what they were doing, and so therefore, they want to make sure they get it right. They get it perfected and stuff. They should get good at it and become a virtuoso at production, on the shoot, and then the editorial. They should become really good at that, get the skill going before they collaborate with people and say, hey, come on into my project and work on this project with me. Your collaborators are waiting for you for two, three years. That's not fair to them. So make sure that you're really good at it first so you can do it fast because it's the worst thing is if your time is wasted. Don't waste my motherfucking time. Use Video Legend. That's the last thing I wanted to talk about. It's very important because Video Legend does your market research, finding tags, finding everything, and lining it all up. A lot of the time it's hard to put everything together. So it does your market research. Next up, if you wanna be able to purchase YouTube accounts, which is a little taboo, but it's not the only thing you can do. You can do deals, obviously, with people who have YouTube channels, and you can do pretty good deals with the instruction that you're gonna find in there. But it also has buttons, very, very quick to get in touch with people on YouTube. It takes care of the market research, the buying and selling, bartering, renting, and then it helps you publish. Then after helping you publish, it helps you promote. So you're gonna get, for the front end, the amount of a Happy Meal, you're gonna get those four things. And then the upgrades are amazing. You can tap into my database of all the videos, stock sounds that I've created myself, a lot of the, the quick little graphics that you can throw in there and stuff. And then the second upgrade is full training, production, you know, how to do green screen stuff, everything. And then uh, there's two other upgrades, that's live training, and then we can do your whole entire YouTube channel for you. All right, so thanks for watching this video, and I uh, will see you soon. Thank you.